Oh, hello again, and welcome to the VK6ES oh, uh, amateur radio channel. <laughs> this is the uh, the tuning hut at the uh, uh, the antenna matching unit at the middle of the Alexanderson antenna. And um, because this site has more than one transmitter, it's got a couple of um, it's got a couple of stop filters here as well. So it's not all antenna matching for the Alexanderson. Um, and that's where it uh, that's a static drain choke, the uh, the red looking thing across the uh, uh, the feed through um, insulator there. And that's the RF feed that goes out along there. That's the matching there. And there's the uh, there's the carax coming in from down there. Um, you see the current? Oh yeah, thanks. Let me just show you the, uh, the current coming in. This is the current coming in from the coax. It's nearly, uh, nearly 15. Uh, just over 14 amps. Yeah, I'll just zoom in on that without getting that loaded in there. There we go. That's what's coming in from the, uh, uh, from the transmitter. Just a, bit, just a bit under 15 amps. And this is the uh, this is the current that's going out to the antenna, which is is that just about 13 and a bit now? 13 and a half. Yeah, 13 of course, they're different because it's different impedances. Yeah. Okay. You done in there? Yeah. Thank you very much, mate. And uh, yep, there we go. There's the other side of the feed-through insulator, and it goes up through there. Now, on the previous video, I actually said this came down to six individual wires. It doesn't. It comes down as four, four wires in a cage, but they're actually connected together at the top and at the bottom. So if we go right up the top there, that point there, you can see where the wires all come in, but they are actually joined together at that point. And then they come down as a... And they come down as a cage. And uh, I think this camera is trying to focus on the clouds. Uh, I can get over there. Get that point there, there we go. There you can see where they sort of come down and they all join to one. So the individual wires come down and join to one. And then they go down as a four-wire cage to the uh, to the tuning huts at each end. So there's a self-supporting tower at that end. There's the hut that where I just was, and uh, there's another one. There's another one over there for the other end of the antenna. So there we go, an Alexanderson medium wave broadcast antenna, dating back to 1926. And contrary to uh, what you might hear elsewhere on the internet, they do not radiate longitudinal waves faster than light. <laughs> Many thanks for watching. Catch you next time.